proposal could pave the way for some very tall buildings in Sugar House. Yep, a developer is asking for some zoning changes that would triple the height of buildings allowed there right now. New specialist Lindsay Ertz spoke with the city about the proposed change. Lindsay, could we really see this happening anytime soon? Well, Dini, it's a very lengthy process for zoning changes to get approved. But what's happening right now is that developer has bought this building on the corner of 2100 South and 11th East in Sugar House, and they want to redevelop it. Uh, but they're asking for some new zoning rules that would ultimately allow for 300 foot high buildings. Buildings in Sugar House right now are only allowed to be about 100 feet. 200 feet taller than what's allowed right now in the Sugar House Business District, uh, so it's pretty significant. You would expect to see a 300-foot building in downtown Salt Lake. In fact, the tallest in Utah is the 450-foot Astra Tower under construction. The church office building, 420 feet. But in Sugar House? 300 feet is going to be prominent from pretty much anywhere in the valley. Harbor Bay Ventures, an out-of-state developer, has submitted an application for Salt Lake City to approve a zoning change. Basically create a new zoning district for a single parcel of land. It would triple the height of buildings that exist now, and that is raising some eyebrows. It's such a significant change to what people are used to. Harbor Bay purchased this Wells Fargo building at 2100 South and 1100 East. They haven't released any specific plans for how tall or exactly what they plan to build. Housing experts say it's likely to to include retail on the bottom and housing above it, they have proposed using sustainable materials. We know that Sugar House has a need for um, affordable housing, particularly at the very low end, um, and so that's going to be a significant look that will take a you know community benefit that we are likely to say should be something that's included. But whether they that that community benefit is significant enough to justify that change is a whole nother story. The city says it could take a year before any approved changes. There's a lengthy public input process that starts with a 45 day public input period to notify the community. Then off to the city council and mayor. City officials say the proposal alone means the developer wants the change. People should expect that, you know, they're planning on doing something pretty big and tall. Again, you guys, all of this in the very, very early stages. But if people want to weigh in, they should pay attention to Salt Lake City's planning website. There they can find the locations of those public planning and city council meetings when it's time to weigh in. Reporting live, Lindsay Ertz, KSL 5 News. It'll be a noticeable difference. Lindsay, thank you.